Welcome to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith, and I just uh, was looking at some of the properties that are up for sale on the website, and I wanted to point a couple out. Uh, this is a different kind of video. This isn't about one particular property. This is about a bunch of different properties. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to listings. I'm going to go to the first sale. I'll put a link to this in the descriptions below, so you don't actually have to do this search, but I'm showing you what I'm doing. You can change the parameters. So for location, I'm just going to leave open all locations. We've got properties all across the U.S. now. And um, for contract, I'm going to say for sale. I just want the ones that are for sale. And for price, I'm going to do $350. I'm putting a lower price on there because I don't want the ones that have payment terms to come up. But if you want the ones that are showing payment terms, you know, $25 a month or $100 a month or $200 a month or whatever payment terms, you can do that too. But I'm going to do $350 to uh, $500 because I'm looking for property. You know, let's say my budget's $500. What can I get with $500? And uh, the nice thing about shopping that way on ruralvacantland.com is the fees are included. So you go there and um, like almost every single one of them, the fees are included. It says on the website or on the listing about the property if there's anything weird about that particular one. But for the vast majority of them all the fees are included so I got this list of property it's a pretty good list there's 10 to page and uh, there's four pages here let's see what we got on the fourth page uh, there's three of them so right now when I'm making this video there's 33 properties that are up for sale for under $500 a property and so let's see what we get I don't know if I, sh I could do order them I could sort by price and lowest to highest and stuff um, but you know, this is they're pretty much the same price. So let's look at this five, 499 bucks, one and a quarter acre. <laughs> like, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty good sized property for 500 bucks, right? So let's pull it up. Let's see what that is. That's in uh, where's this one? Navajo County, Arizona, one and a quarter acre. And you know, it's green. I know this probably it's, it's over by a river, there's a river right by it. There's some little streets in the area. It's by the, I think it's called the Little Colorado River. Um, let's pull up some GPS coordinates. It's north of Winslow. Navajo Nation's up here. And uh, yeah, it's by the Little Colorado River. I mean, it's probably easy to put in a well or a pump. You probably, if you want to fill your tanks, you just roll the pump out down to the river, pump, you know, roll your put your hose down there, turn the pump on, fire up the generator, fill up your tanks, roll it back up. I doubt anybody's around to care. Well, it's not as green on this picture, but the other satellite images were green. Now there's some bush and stuff. One and a quarter acre. 500 bucks. Let's see what else we can find. Um, there's a couple, there's three of them three different ones and they're next to each other too. You could put a couple of them together and get more than one and a quarter acre. You could get two and a half or three and three quarters acre if you bought all three of them. That'd be pretty fun. And uh, here's Baxter County. Um, look at this one. $399. You got trees and uh, I think there's a road. There's a video about it. Um, yeah, lakes and streams. I'm pretty sure this one's got a road. That's yeah, right off a road. So they can drive right up to it. Three hundred ninety-nine dollars. See what else we got. Woods. This one's a third of an acre in the woods. Izzard County. Let's take a look at that one. video about it, GPS coordinates, not too far from the lake, road, you can drive right up to it, Let's see what else we can get for 500 bucks, I mean this is fun, you got a nice selection of them, third of an acre, third of an acre, third of an acre, Izzard counties, oh yeah I think this one's right by some rivers, yeah, there's power. I think it's got a power line too. Yeah, 
river bends around. I think there's power lines on this one. There's power lines over here. There's power line over here. Yeah, it's, I think it's really close to a power line. It looks like close to paved street, but dirt street right in front. So you get basically like private driveway the last little bit. How much was this? $399 for like a road right next to a power line, your own property, about a third of an acre. <laughs> You're getting a good selection of quality land here for not a lot of money. Um, let's look at some others. Baxter County. Bunch of Baxter County ones, quarter acre, a third of an acre. Well, 0.39, there's a little bit bigger one. Let's see what that is. Roads, ponds. Oh yeah, this one's got a golf course going around it. You're on the inside, so you're not right on the golf course, but you can walk to the golf course, get some fancy looking houses on nice looking roads. I'm sure there's power lines in the area. I'm sure it'd be easy to get water when I mean, you got ponds right there. At least probably, they probably have water lines in this neighborhood. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see what else you can get into. Yeah, a lot of these Baxter County ones have water lines to the lots. They built a whole bunch of water lines back in the day. You can still tap into them. More Baxter County, Izzard County, Arkansas. I thought I saw Apache County in here. Yeah, there's Apache County. So Apache County is northeastern Arizona. $500 for a quarter acre. See, there's a video about it. This one's owned by Chris. Chris has this one on the website. It's eight miles to the elementary school. Yeah, there's the elementary school right here. Looks like it's near a road. They're real close to the road. Quarter acre, 500 bucks. I mean, Apache County is awesome about living in an RV. You can pull up, park your RV at day one. They're really nice about it. They don't kick you out of there like a lot of places. You don't have to build much of anything and just run with it. $500. It's cheaper than staying in a lot of campgrounds for, for the summer. Or the month, even. Some of them. So that's what we got on ruralvacantland.com. I mean, you can do that for all kinds of different price classes of property, but the $500 properties are kind of fun. You know, a quarter acre up to one and a quarter acre in Navajo County, a third of an acre, a bunch, bunch of third of an acre ones with trees, power, some power lines nearby in, uh, in northern Arkansas. So hopefully uh, this opens some eyes and you pick out some properties for you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Luke Smith, RuralVacantLand.com.